Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And in this video, I am going to take apart the rock side, polish the washers, and then try the Chris Reeves fluorinated grease. Then I'm going to take it back apart and try the KPL and see which one works better. Now, this is the KPL Heavy. This is the kind you would use on washers, the other kind you would use on bearings. So let's get into it, polish up these washers, and see how the Chris Reeves fluorinated grease works on the Rockstead. The Rockstead Higo, to be exact. Just so you guys know, I am using Weeha Bits with the Weeha bit driver to take this knife apart. I highly recommend Weeha. Um, links are in the description. Same thing with a lot of the other stuff I'm using. All right, guys, so we're gonna take apart the Rockstead Higo. It's getting a, a little, uh, you know, not, not as smooth as it was. It's still very smooth, but I can definitely hear that it's a little grimy in the pivot t10 bit for both the pivot and the other screw there's two screws to take apart the rockstead higo I've never taken this thing apart, so I do not know. Oh, I gotta open it. Okay. There we go. Okay, make it a rag. Something nice. It looks pretty polished, but I might just polish that. Where's the other one? The other one's right over here. Let's get this apart. Um, oh, is this, there we go. Nice big phosphor bronze washers. We're definitely going to get this all cleaned up, polish the washers, and get some grease from Chris Reeves. We got this, the Chris Reeves grease we're going to put on it. Let me get this cleaned up and moved over to the side so it doesn't bump nothing. Kara's in the background playing her video game. So, you might hear her. Get some alcohol, actually. This stuff works great. I actually made that stuff myself at the distillery. Works really good for cleaning knives. All right, this is seven slash five micron the neve diamond plate this should polish them up rather quickly and then we will switch to the three slash two micron okay All right, they were pretty shiny before, but now they are really shiny. Let's get this thing put back together, this time with some fresh grease. All right, so now that we got them polished, really nice and polished, let's get on the grease. Let's cut it first. Spyroco Chaparral. Okay. Maybe this has to mix up first, I guess. I didn't know. Never used it before, so the first time. Alright, I don't know. That's probably way too much, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. Yeah. I don't know if I should do the back sides too, maybe. 
I'll just put a little bit on the back sides. Oh, this stuff comes out so fast. Okay, so it did improve it a little bit, but not as much as I would have liked. Now, this, I did let it sit for a couple days um, with the grease, and it did get smoother over a couple days. But I think that since the, the Chris Reeves knives have... Uh, holes in their bear in their their washers they have pockets built into their washer that i think that that's why it might work a little bit better for theirs but let's get it apart and let's try the the kpl heavy back to the t10 I want to really get this grease off of it and make sure there's none left because I don't want the KPL and grease to fight each other. And here is the bushing. There we go. We'll clean that in a second. Okay. Now let's clean the bushing. I'm using uh, basically like a, a, a rubbing alcohol. It's a spray because alcohol, um, you know, disappears really quick. It evaporates very quickly, so it dries and it doesn't rust, and it helps leave the surface nice and dry while also cleaning it very good.
I do highly recommend getting some type of alcohol spray. It works really good, even if you buy your alcohol and just get yourself a spray bottle. I personally make my own at a distillery, but you can uh, you can just buy it and you know put it in a spray bottle. It works so much better having it as a spray. You don't have to pour it out or dip a, a Q-tip in it or anything like that. Okay, we got this thing nice and clean now. Let's get this bushing back on here. Which direction is it? Does it matter? This side's collared, this side's not. I think it's this way. And then let's get the washer on there. Okay, let's open up this KPL Heavy. So one side of the bushing is collared. I put the collared side up because I figured it's for the screw. Oh yeah, this stuff is a lot heavier than, this is the first time I'm using the KPL Heavy, um, but it is a bit heavier, or a lot heavier than the regular KPL. The edge. So basically on the inside of here, I want to see it, make sure it goes on there good. It's hard for me to see through the camera. All right. Now let's put this one on here and we will also add a little dab on the detent ball. So when the detent ball drops in there, it should, in theory, get lubed up. I know I probably used an excessive amount. What's going on? There we go. There we go. All right. And I will put some more thread locker on there later, or in a little bit. I want to check it first. But you guys already seen me put my thread locker on the first time. Because I knew I was going to let it sit a couple days before I took it apart again. This time, I'll just take the screw out off camera and put some some thread locker on there those thread uh the blue loctite sticks man those things are so awesome okay wow it is a little different already let me okay so so far just right now let me clean the blade but right now it's stiffer but it might be just spreading out wipe off the fingerprint blade let me move all this stuff all right let me just loosen it up just a little bit. Even though it has the bushing, so tightening it really doesn't do too much. Like you can go all the way to tight with these, but it does adjust a little bit. Okay, I can already tell I like the KPL Heavy a little bit more. And like I said, I think that has to do with the pockets. That the grease probably works really good when you have pockets in your washers. But the Rockstead does not have pockets. Now it's still... It's very smooth. It's got a tight, smooth feeling, kind of like a Sabenza, but not either. Like, it's different and the same all in one. Let me adjust it again really quick. These things go, the tolerances on these things are so, like, I can loosen the pivot all the way. And, like, it's probably got no play, not one bit of play, and my screw's all the way backed out. No play at all. That's how high the tolerances are. But now it'll probably rub. So that's why I'm not going to close it. But no play. So let me tighten it. That's 100% tight without me cranking it. 
I'm just going to go back just a little bit. Goes right to centered every time. This thing, it's so easy to take apart. The tolerances are so tight. That was my fault. I almost wonder what rocks that actually recommends. So I'm going to say the KPL Heavy in this instance is a little bit better, but they are made more for washers, um, which so is the Chris Reeves stuff, but the Chris Reeves stuff is going to be more for it's, I don't know. I've used grease a lot on washer knives, but the Chris Reeves knives has, and this is super smooth. This is ridiculously smooth, um, but it has the pockets in there. But for the Rockstead, and I will try some other knives out with washers, but the Rockstead's definitely a little bit more benefited from the KPL by a little bit. Now, I wonder if I had a little bit of the other KPL on the detent track. Let me see something, because I'm just going to put a little dab on the detent ball itself really quick. There we go. Ooh, that did make a little bit of a difference. Either way, the ver verdict is still the same. Very, very smooth, but it's also, it's kind of, um, it's, it's a different kind of smooth, not like bearings, very tight. The tolerances are very tight. I could front flip it, but there we go. All right, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.